Hey, I'm Steve Clifford and I play drums in Circa Survive. <laughs> at least 10 years, yeah, at, at least ten, more than 10 years, probably 11 years, I think. So I have like four kits and maybe four snares, I think. Do you know? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, but uh, yeah, and I love them, they're great. <laughs> Uh, actually, the new kit I have, you know, uh, the last few kits I got, first I got a Kokobolo uh, steam bent kit, and that's awesome. I still love that kit. I play it all the time. I, I actually bring it on tour sometimes still. I, I have that, and then I made them build me a brass three millimeter kit. The kick drum weighs like 70 pounds or something, so I don't bring that on tour anymore. It's just not practical for tour, but it's at home. I still play it all the time. Um, but then finally, we were doing a lot of overseas stuff, and all the rental kits, or the kits that SJC um, just provided me, just sounded so good. I hit Mike up and I was like, yo, you, you must have built a million of these kits, and just whatever that shell is and the lugs and whatever is on those just give me that <laughs> and so now that's what i've been playing the most and i love it <laughs> how did i start playing drums uh well when i was like 10 there was a kid who played drums across the street and he probably sucked i don't know like i, I would i didn't play drums yet but i would hear him play drums all the time and he was older than me and I was like, man, that's cool. I want to play drums. And then I found drums in the garbage, like down the street from me. So I knocked on that guy's door and I was like, hey, I see you're throwing away all these drums in the garbage. Do you have any more drums? And can I have them? And he gave me a bunch of drums. So I just started messing around. I maybe took like two months of lessons, but I didn't really soak that all in and then I just started you know asking kids from the neighborhood to like learn instruments and jam with me and just went from there until I was asking people who could actually play instruments to jam with me and then you know just kept them <laughs> yeah so the garbage <laughs> started playing drums in the garbage <laughs> uh, I was 12 by the time, I was 10 when I wanted to play drums. I actually made, I actually made a kick drum pedal out of connects that I like melted together to make it stronger. Um, and I took like trash cans and shit and I played on that for a while before I found the drums in the garden. Fucking Nathan from Chon. <laughs> uh, hmm. Uh, I love... John Theodore. Um, I never really was, like now, I follow a bunch of drummers on Instagram and shit, and I like know some drummers' names finally. I can't think of any right now, but uh, I never really was like somebody who focused on that. I always was more of somebody who focused on everything else, like just the whole thing, you know? So. And I never really, uh, even oh. trying to learn other songs, played it the way that, like, the dr I actually hate learning covers because I hate being like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to not pay attention to what they did, but I don't want to, like, learn what they did. I'd rather just, like, come up with something, you know what I mean? So I'm not that much of a drum nerd as far as drummers. But I'm starting to be more, because of Instagram. Uh, Carter Mack, follow him. Uh, I think his name is actually longer than Carter Mack. I think it's just, that's the You know it? You know who that is? He plays for the Lion King. There's not a band called the Lion King. I know, you would think there would be by now. There's probably a band called, like, Catcher in the Rye by now. But uh, the Lion King on Broadway, he plays for that. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. Uh, Guy from Converge, one of my favorite drummers. Ben something. That guy's sick. You know, probably 
more networking and and just like being cool <laughs> like counts more than that well I mean like you gotta practice and be good but like you know kind of like what I did when I was a kid I just wanted to jam with everybody wanted to play you know then we were older and everyone was booking shows together and then that slowly turns into like all these bands are touring together you know and then before you know it like your friend from when you were younger has a record label or something like if you just keep in the circle of everybody who wants to do that stuff in some way you know and and as long as you're doing it just for like because you love it and it's not just like oh well I have to I have to make money then maybe you'll make money <laughs> but I don't know I, I didn't really try to to do this I kind of just like it's just kind of what I did and then everyone around me just kind of did the same thing <laughs> so I don't know uh, maybe uh, I think now what you do is you make tons of YouTube videos and then bands uh, now what they do is they try and get drummers off YouTube to play for them uh, so I think that's what you should do now but I I'm not growing up right now so <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Yeah, it actually is true. And Instagram, and you use hashtags. You go like VF15 or something. That's a that's one. Uh, but don't annoy the shit out of people and just be like, hey, fucking check out my fucking shit constantly. Then people will remember when you start getting somewhere and be like, oh wait, we can't bring that band on tour. That has that kid who used to just fucking text or tweet at me all the time. They're gonna be annoying. Let's not, you see, so you just, don't be annoying. <laughs> Just be cool. <laughs>